Okay, so I also did a bit of support grinding, sorry, um, but pretty much it's just something that might help me out. So I got Borzanogia's B support, I think it is. So I'm just gonna show off those, because why not? No, it was so boring because he didn't hit you. <laughs> he, actually, he actually doesn't hit you. That's his thing. He can, he has a he's basically a wall and will hit hard when he actually hits. But apart from that, he's not really doing much else. Uh, and the uh, other one, thing uh, we missed was the thief finally showed up and uh, yeah, that happened. Yeah, pretty much. It, the only thing he missed is that him. one of this is that one of the things contained a um, Nosferatu, which I'm not Nosferatu. overly bothered yeah. about losing. So, hmm. Yeah, pretty much. This is just um, yeah. And there's the final um, Percy Orphan support. So yeah, whatever. I got one of the sports max. Why didn't I give him the the, the uh, maltets? Because that alleviates his skill issue slightly. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a complete tool. Anyway, yeah, I, I got. I got um. Yes, that's a sleep staff, which is the third one you can get, I think. And you. Uh... Yeah, I guess we'll spare this turn and uh, see if we can uh, actually... Uh, okay, it's a white gem, which is totally useless if this is the end of your game. Uh, I guess I can send the uh, sleep staff to Melanus. Then again, it doesn't really yeah, matter. So you want to move Troy up? Alright. Uh, you know what, just in the interest of being safe, I will make a safe state, just to be, just to be a little bit... Uh, it's probably a little bit cheap, but yeah, whatever. Uh, how do you open this? Is that you equip the binding right here? You can use the binding blade to actually heal Roy, like for 20 HP, but don't. It takes up a use of the binding blade, and ultimately you can yeah. just have a healing staff. Yeah, and I'm not a fan of that. Yeah, and there's how you open the room. Okay, so yeah, it is. Why did you start this war? Because I want to bring dragons back. Also, humans suck. Dragons were cool. <laughs> Humans are not. Yeah. <laughs> also, politics are evil. Politics are evil. Evil politics. I politics am an evil. <laughs> politics are evil, which is why I became an evil politician. <laughs> or king, rather. So. Yeah. Yeah. But in all honesty, I, I do think that's something for a theme from the general games that I do think fits in a leap. Hmm. I, my, my biggest problem with this game's lore is that they never give a proper enough explanation for why the scouring happened, it just kind of did. I think the most we get from it is from uh, one of Pent's conversations somewhere in Seven, where he basically says something along the lines of, uh, dragons were too spooky for humans, so pretty much humans just kind of turned on them. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. I get it. I just wish really we actually had a proper thing, because not that because I kind of feel like humans were being a bit of an asshole just by kind of like turning on the dragons for no apparent reason. And that's yeah. that's pretty much just my general problem with seven and uh, seven and six as well. Aside from that, they're perfectly fine games. So yeah. anyway, you also and trigger really, reinforcements. As we'll see, in, as we'll see it with the backstory, right. as as more is shed on that. The dragons weren't exactly saints either. Yeah, yeah. Uh, pretty much, there's a load of uh, pretty decently strong enemies. Also, there's going to be more spawning from these stairs, so try and block these off as soon as. Here's Zephiel. He has a hero quest for no reason. Why do we need to promote a character this late? I don't know, maybe it's because he has Jonathan's sword. Yeah, <laughs> sucks. It's the John Tron sword, I will not accept any other argument. But yeah, overall he's fairly beefy and he has surprising amount he has a surprising amount of res for um what appears to be an Armonite, so Yeah, he may as well be the final boss of this game. Well he is if 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 um he's I know, but he but even counting the actual final boss, he feels more like the a final okay, boss. Okay, minor spoiler, the final the yeah. final actual final boss is laughable. <laughs> Okay, yeah. there's two Fenrir guys, there's two Manakeets, I think that was another ambulance outside. Um, 
Right, how am I going to go about this? Because I, the last thing I want to deal with is reinforcements. So... And maybe I should have positioned... Maybe I should have positioned units better. Right, what about these dragons? They have... Like, they're pretty much just going to destroy everything. Like, maybe I could... Um... Right, it may sound like a bad strategy, but I'm going to play the bait game here, I think. Right, as long as I stay at the dragon's range, I should be okay, I think. So, Boar's can equip a, a lance, screw it. You can have a hand axe, because why not? And I guess I'll just put... Um, you really should just have a... I believe those heroes don't have two range weaponry, so you really should just have a sword. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Right, as long as I can get people close, I might blow another use of the warp staff because I haven't done that enough, just to kind of speed things up a bit. Right, reinforcements. I think reinforcements are getting spawning next turn, so... Yeah, we have mana keats to deal with. Yeah, or if you're playing the old translation, mamcoots. Yeah, that was not an old translation quirk. Yeah. Good old mamcoots. Oh, he actually hit twice. Percival's trying to redeem himself. How cute. Lance Reaver, zero damage. Yep. Yeah. Never tell me that those two dragon shields weren't a bad investment. So they were a bad investment, yes. I mean. But pretty much now that now I've baited those down, I should have hopefully an easier time dealing with stuff. Yeah, yeah. Be able to just kill all of them this turn, yeah. and then block. Right now that they're in a more confined area, we're really going to have to go on the offensive now. Yeah, I have no other choice basically. Um, right, I I'm fairly sure I want to take out the dragons first. Actually, no, maybe I want to have because otherwise that sniper might screw over my lady. So. Uh, I might just mount at the sniper because I don't want to take risks. And then, then and uh, if I'm gonna use armads, now is a good time, I think. Oh look, keeps oh, yeah. one shot. <laughs> one shot. <laughs> yeah, there we go. The power of geese, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. So I could, uh, I do have the binding blade, that is always a viable strategy, I just can't go too overboard with it. Um, Shana can deal with him quite feasibly, I guess. Yep, Nima, trying to build some more dark rank. Uh, yeah, let's go with this, this is perfect. We should be able to use the apocalypse by the end of the game. Well, I might just pass oh. abuse her next time I get a chance, so like she's that far if, to it. If we field her in the, the final chapter, then she should be able to get her last dark ranks. Um, she's... And I suppose I can have Clarin talk. No, never mind, I can't. Um, right, Lance Reaver, I might as well just plow an axe into his face. Um, now, Percy's going to be too useful to... Uh, Let's, let's, screw it. let's go and deal with this sniper guy first. Yeah, deal with the sniper. You're pretty much going to be able to kill all of, all of these enemies this turn. Because yeah, I, I don't want to mess up at pretty much the last main, point. Yeah, the main thing we have to focus on is covering those uh, stairs. Oh, something we didn't go over. You just need to poke. Just kind of have someone stand on there and then you can move them off. No biggie. So, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah pretty... I was wrong, guys. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Yoda it's time. Hype. Yoda hype. <laughs> Yoda there we go. All the way. Here's a present from Jeebus Crust. <laughs> Yoda hype. There we go. See, never tell me that it wasn't worth building up his light rank on the tw on the twenty one X boss. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yoder is pretty awesome. Yep. Yeah, I missed Let's go with this. There we go. Dead. Yeah, I would have been so disappointed in you, Rutger, if you missed, you didn't crit. No, 
You should have not crit and then get hit and get crit. Then he got defense, so at least he can take a hit slightly better now. You were thinking exactly what I was thinking, Boswin. Uh, let's go with... Air caliber because it's accurate. Well, you don't exactly have a very high opinion of Rutger. Who, me? Yeah. Um, uh, actually, I have a fairly high opinion of him, I just really don't like using him. Because, he's, honestly, he's too good. He's a good availability, and that's mainly it for him. Yeah, can I just brave bow him? Uh, yes I can, actually, so let's go with this. That's a good thing about Shin, he actually has the speed to compensate for the Brave Bow's weight. So... Uh, whatever, I can take care of that. Extra strength is always appreciated. Now I just need to block off these holes. I remember that from this area, that's where a druid spawns. But that's as, well, as far as my memory goes. Let's go over this. Okay, never mind. Um, never mind. Slight problem. Uh, okay, I think I can just rush him to Percy and I'll be fine. But for now, I'm gonna be. Um, as long as I can just deal with these, I should be fine. Let's go with this. Yeah, luckily the Iron Lance is fairly accurate. Right, Maltet kind of does have a sucky um, stat, bo uh, stat bonus, but at least it gives a, uh, at least it pretty much guarantees it will hit. Yeah. Which will be useful for the upcoming, for his appeal. Right. Yeah, this is a remnant of Thracia. Hold on, Rowan. one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold on. Yeah, when you one, really two, think about three, it. Four. Five, six, six really seven, takes a lot eight. from both uh, uh, no, I'm just gonna hold the mystery of the emblem and uh, the jungle games. Yeah. Yeah, most, mostly from Thracia. Okay, reinforcement. Thracia, but even then, there, was, there are some elements of uh, genealogy. Yeah. Okay, reinforcements take take their time apparently, so. As long as I can get those um, stairs covered, then I should be fine. Your high move units should be able to get in. A uh, small problem. I'm too far. But no, I can I can uh, play with Alpha. Can dance one. I suppose I'm just gonna have to um, pick a god and pray with the other. It seems. Unless I used another use of that warp staff. Or you could do rescue tactics. Actually, yeah, you do have a very good point there. I think I'll do that. Right, you have. Yeah, I think that's feasible. Yeah. Right, you can meet... have uh, Shauna rescue uh, uh, Jin no, here and bring her up just outside and then... Uh, or... There you go. That works too. True strategery. Anyway. And the other one... Then just have Elfin dance for someone. There we go. There we go. Tactics! Yep. There we go, no reinforcements. No, no, oh, damn it, I, bought, I moved someone off there. Nima, you're not going to be useful for too much else, so... This channel has earned its name. Yep. No, I haven't played a Marth game yet, so I haven't. So I haven't fully earned it yet. You're not... But... But Z! <laughs> I don't know, I will, I will play a Marth game eventually. And if I did play a Marth game, chances are I'm going to be playing Mystery of the Emblem. Because I like that game. You did play book two, didn't you? Yeah, I played book two. So you, you've at least played one Marth game. Um, I've played Shadow Dragon and the original Mystery of the Emblem. Like, DS Shadow Dragon and original Mystery of the Emblem. Book two, that is. I didn't bother with book one, because I basically just played um, Shadow uh, Dragon on DS. Uh, is the Stovall gun the other treasure, treasure chest, chest, or is it... Um, I don't know. We can make a quick check. It's kind of funny that the guys aren't even going for yeah. this tall fall. Yeah, it's kind of like, maybe they just say, you know, he exists. I'm fairly sure most of these guys are, uh, yeah, you can pretty much just uh, totally blank them. I've got an all the chests. I don't know if you so. did. Yeah, i got okay. all the chests. So yeah, let's deal with Zephyl. Uh, or Zephyl, however you choose to pronounce it. 
Uh, right, he's not too bad, especially if you have max support since- Okay, never mind, Yoda gets completely maimed by him. No, ch no chance of Yoda being able to do anything, unfortunately. Yeah, he plays not here. Yeah. It's I'm, uh... ranged animation skills that is looking quite magical, it still hits on your right. physical defense. Right. Okay, Roy, even with Melina support, does take quite the beating from this. Uh, well, not uh, with Shauna's. Hold uh, on. Additionally. Yeah, Try it's not, it's not as if I can't afford to move her now, because I can just have Percy on there. Alright, let's try this. This is with both his uh, support partners. Okay, slightly better, better. but... Um, I'm yeah, thinking... Alright, what if I throw Melina at him? Surprisingly... Uh, then again, I do have Yoda right nearby, so... I think it'll work. Yeah, that might work. It's, it's, not, it's not as if um, I'll end up breaking four ways or anything, so... But as long as I can just fully heal up Melina, then fine. Also, here's his you battle theme. Which... Oh, never mind! <laughs> I think that's, that's definitely over half his HP just gone immediately. Yeah. I think I think I think I just one rounded. She dodges. Oh, if he, if he doesn't. Oh, there we go. Yeah. See, Lumina freaking one rounds. We didn't even get to see his uh, conversation with Roy. Like Lumina just one rounds him. Lumina is a bad yeah. unit. Yeah, no. Check. Look at that. Lumina isn't a bad unit. Granted, she did have support, so. Said she was. Right. Well, I guess that's pretty much it for this chapter. I spent surprisingly less time than I thought I would on it, but I have no reason to stay behind, so. Like, right, there's only going to be reinforcements, so. There we go. Uh, pretty much at the end of that, if you got the bad ending, you'd be offered the save thing for the prologue, so. Yeah. So, or pretty much. Have we? Da, da, da. Also, something I just realised. To get into Zephyr's throne room, you need the Fire Emblem, and we had the Fire Emblem all along, so how the hell did Zephyr get in there? So, so yeah, John Tron's sword, it's basically the last uh, legendary weapon, and since we have the other seven, and apparently because combining weapons that bring that are supposed to kill dragons, you pretty much summon the, house, like, the main headquarters of dragons. I think that's because, uh, well, they were likely sealed by the guys who had yeah, those weapons. Yeah, it makes sense about that way, I guess. But pretty much, like, that's their explanation for how you don't have the, the uh, good ending. So... Yeah, you don't get to go to the Dragon Sanctuary. Hmm. So, pretty much, and that's it. So there we are, like, if you um, got the bad ending, then pretty much your game ends there, and as for what happens, generally those kind of like, oh look, the, the uh, Dark Priestess is kind of gone. Eh, it's probably fine. See ya. <laughs> yeah, that's it. And then they pretty much just all go home, and then everyone's just like, yay, everyone's happy and such. And then basically you pretty much get told, oh, by the way, at some unspecified point in the future, dragons pretty much come back, maim everyone, and pretty much you rule the world now. Wrong world, so yeah. sorry about that. There's still about it, but yeah, that's pretty much what they imply. Pretty much, yeah, like the and yeah, sure. like the old and translation. As for the thing. character, and uh, another thing is that character endings. Ev there's a short and a long version for everyone. Yeah. Everyone gets short endings if you get the bad ending. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty much that's pretty much your trade. That's pretty much their way of telling you you're an idiot. So yeah. <laughs> 